Hi guys, welcome back to D Diets. If you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, ring the notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm putting out a new video. What are you doing today, Denise? You're not eating. No, we're in midweek. We're in midweek of week eight. Yes, we are. And at the end of the week, I will weigh myself again and we will see if I lost anything for the second month. Anyway, what have I been up to? Well, let me tell you what I've done to myself. Yes, I'm a complete moron, just so that you all know. I have a bad back. I do. And I decided to dance around my living room the other day. I was watching, well, actually, yeah, so I was watching and listening to Chef RJ Soul Food and More, and he had on a Queen song that I absolutely love called Don't Stop Me Now. So I get up out of my chair and I start dancing along because I'm loving the whole entire thing. And I felt a little tweak, you know, in my old caboose. And I said to myself, ah, let's keep dancing. Let's keep dancing. Keep rocking. Keep rocking, right? Fool. But I was just, I just started to limp just a little bit. You know, if you have sciatica, you know it feels like a little lightning bolt has hit you. Well, I wasn't feeling that bad. But in the middle of the day, I wanted to do it again. So I stuck on chip marching. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. I put it back on and I hit that play button and I got back up and I started rocking and rolling and rocking and rolling. Well, that was my mistake. I can tell you that right now. My mistake. Because at that point, I felt the complete lightning bolt go right down my leg. I was like, son of a bitch. I was so aggravated. So then I ended up having to go to the chiropractor. And I felt bad because my friend, A Day in the Life of Michelle, was doing a premiere and I said I would be there. But of course, I couldn't because I was laying on a chiropractic table getting the old adjustment. <laughs> oh, man. But I'm adjusted right now. He says I'm level. So that's a good thing. And I have to tell you, it took, it really took some of the pain away. So I'm very happy and I don't have to take my cataflam which is a anti-inflammatory that eats my gut alive. That is why I go to the chiropractor because before I have to pop one of those babies, I rather just go and get an adjustment, sit on a nice bag for a little while. <laughs> yes, is it too graphic? Sit on a nice bag for a while and let that inflammation sort of go down. I have, I'm the fool. I'm the fool. I can't blame anybody but myself. So... I happened to find an, oh, and before I uh, get into what I was going to say, I, um, the last time I was at a chiropractor, believe it or not, was December, because the, uh, the girl, Janet, that works in there, she said, you know, Denise, the last time you were here, it was December. Yes, I said to myself, good, good, that made me happy. So I went, oh, that's great, that's great, because I noticed when I was, hello, this weight, that would be me at my sister's wedding. My sister is beautiful, isn't she? She really is stunning. But that's her fat sister at 320 pounds standing next to her. And that was a size 28 dress. Yes, it was. And it was as tight as tight can be. So if anybody is out there that doesn't know, um, that doesn't think I know what it's like to live in that body, I most certainly do. And I lived in that body most of my life. Most of my life, I was in that body. And um, you talk about pain in your back. Because when your belly, you know, your belly is large like it is. And that, when, when I was 320 pounds, it puts so much pressure on my back. Because, of course, your stomach is pulling forward. Your back can't hold you. You know, your back, your core is your muscle. Your core is everything. Now, I'm going to show you a picture, my friends. Yes, I am. And this is me seven years ago. Yep. That is me in a gym, working out seven days a week, three hours every single day, and I miss it. I miss it. And as soon as these gyms open back up, I will be in a gym. I loved boxing. Look at me. I was so happy. And at that weight, I'm 165 in that picture, just so that you know, because that truly is my goal weight. Because when you go to a gym, honestly, I say this from the bottom of my heart. When you go to a gym, you reshape your own body. You really do. And I loved weight training. 
I loved ellipticals and I loved all that other stuff and cardio, but honestly, it was the weight training that got me to look like that. And that is the truth. That is the absolute truth. And that was only seven years ago. I know, I know. That's why I said to you guys, I have been up and down and up and down. I am so glad I found this plant-based way of life. Doug has been doing exceptionally well. Um, Doug, when I think I told you, he went from 189 to 176 or 174. He's doing really, really well. Um, but I came across a channel called Whole 180. This is a lovely person, a lovely person. And she had questions on her uh, intro video. And I thought, oh, these were fun questions. And I'm going to answer the questions, and then I'm going to shout out some of you who may want to answer these questions. That at this, if you want to answer them, of course you can. And I think it's fun. You could do it when you're eating. You could do it if you're monk banging. If you're doing makeup, whatever it is, you may want to answer some of the questions. And I'll leave the questions in the description box below. And please tag Whole One Eighty because it really is her thing and her questions. All right. So let's get into the questions. You know I'm going to have to take off my glasses. What does your name mean? Well, my full name is Denise, and it means the goddess of wine. Yes, it does. <laughs> Where are you from? Originally, I am from Long Island, New York. If you couldn't tell by now, but I have been living in Pennsylvania. Uh, what were your parents? Uh, what would your parents have named you if you were a different gender? Let's be real. I'm Italian. It would have been a Tony, a Frankie, a Vinny, one of those names. <laughs> what is your biggest accomplishment? My biggest accomplishment, what would it be? Um, I know this is going to sound weird to you, but I think my biggest accomplishment would be Buddy the Talking Bichon, which you can find on YouTube. That would be my biggest, biggest accomplishment I ever did in my entire life. And I, I can't, I can't even talk about it because the minute I start thinking about it, I can cry. So I'm not going to, what is your eye color? Blue. My eyes are blue. What is your favorite candle scent? My favorite candle scent would probably be fresh linen. I love that smell. I think it's so fresh and, you know, clean. I like that smell. Can you cook? I can cook and I cook a lot of rice and beans. <laughs> yes, I do. What is good about your life right now? Feeling healthy. Feeling healthy. That's, yeah, it's the, uh, the energy I'm feeling is phenomenal. So I'm just going to say the, my energy level has gone from nothing to hello over the top. What is your sign? I am Pisces the fish. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh, and we are very creative. Yes, Pisces are very creative. We, we live in a dream state most of the time, so that can be scary at times. Uh, what scares you about aging? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not afraid of getting old. I'm, I'm 61 already. I am so not afraid of getting old. And I hope there's some young people listening because it's only a number. It truly is only a number. And you're as young as you feel. And I don't feel 61. So if I don't feel 61, I'm not going to fear 71 or 81 or even 91 or 101. If God wants to keep me on the planet for that long, oh my goodness, wouldn't that be too much? What is your favorite holiday? I have to say Thanksgiving because I love that meal. Oh, just the cornbread stuffing alone. I know, Patty, if you're listening to me right now, my friend Patty, too mad. Yeah, right here. Uh, yes. On the holidays, I'm sure I'm going to have some of my cornbread stuffing. What is your guilty pleasure? What's your guilty pleasure? You know, I'm very, I'm very, uh, honestly, my guilty pleasure would be to sit in front of a chocolate cake and eat it. That would be my guilty pleasure. <laughs> now, I want you to know, and I'm going to leave the link in the description box. I have seen a lot of cake challenges. Now, they went on last month, just so that you know. But there was one cake challenge that I laughed so hard from the beginning to the end of it. And that would be Maria from MRTV. And her link is definitely going to be in the description box. You have to watch it. 
She had her hands by her side and she kept bobbing into a cake. Man, she nosedived into that thing. It was hilarious. I'm telling you, it was hilarious. So her link is going to be in this description. Please go and watch because I couldn't stop laughing from the time it began to the time it ended. It And it looked so good. It looked so good. So guilty pleasure. I could swear to all of you and I swear I, if I can put my hand on a stack of Bibles. If I ever get down to my goal weight, yeah, it, well, if, if, it's big, it's a big if. If I get down to my goal weight, I know this won't sound really <laughs> correct because I got down to my goal weight, but I will buy myself a big, big chocolate cake and with the thick, thick chocolate frosting on it, two layers thick and nose dive right into the damn thing. I really will. I'll put my hands to my side. I have no problem with that. That would be my guilty pleasure. What's the current show that you are binge watching? Well, I have to be honest with you. I love this Married at First Sight. Oh my God, it's so crazy and oddballish. You know, I think I would be a great candidate for this show. Now, I know you're thinking, Denise, you're married. You're married. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I would love to see who those experts would suit. Who would suit me? Because after all, you know what? You know, they ask a lot of questions. So I would love to know who they would uh, put me with. Oh, I think it would be a lot of fun. I swear. I'd ask Doug for a divorce just to see who. I know I would. You know what? I don't think he'd mind. <laughs> um, what item can you not leave the house without? Well, I cannot leave the house without my glasses. I'll be honest with you. Because the world is much prettier when I don't have them on. You don't want to see me driving without them on. But everybody looks flawless. Absolutely flawless. <laughs> People don't have lines, wrinkles, nothing. They look beautiful. So I would need to wear those. Um, what does it say here? Are you a morning person or a night owl? I'm a morning person. I used to be a night owl. But when I started plant-based eating within the second week, I started being like, I have to go to bed now. I'm tired. And like I said to all of you, as you've been watching these videos, nothing has changed in my life but what I'm eating. Nothing. Stress is still there. It's all the same stuff. What's your favorite genre of movies? Hmm. That would have to be definitely drama. Love drama. But I love drama movies from the 1950s. Peyton Place. Now I'll start naming them. See, this is my problem. Peyton Place. Um... Uh, Mildred Pierce, oh yes, oh yes. All the old, you know why? I'm gonna tell you why. Because they had dialogue in those movies. There were no love scenes, you know, where they're in the bed, faking sex and all this. That's just a waste of my time. You know, the dialogue was great. The writing was great. I love great drama movies. Okay, let me get to the next question. What's the last thing you brought? Well, it's sitting right by me, so let me just show it to you all. It's heavy as hell. Oh, God, help me. 20 more pounds of rice. That's what I bought. 20 more pounds of rice. That's correct. Oh, my God. Slide your back. Slide your back. Just as a side note, please get some things into your house. You know the prepper of me is going to say that. Get your rice, your beans. I don't know what's going on with the frozen vegetables lately because you can't find a lot in the store. So please, as a side note, go get some rice. So that would be the last thing I bought, rice and beans. Uh, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Is introvert mean you keep to yourself? Because that would be me. I mean, seriously, that would be me. I know you're probably thinking, oh, she must be outrageous wherever she goes. Uh-uh, no. I'm my, I am a true Pisces. I am, and my Pisces friends out there know this. If you're a Pisces, you're very happy just going about your day by yourself. You don't need anybody else around you. And we hate drama. I hate drama. So if you stay internalized inside yourself, you sort of don't have to have the drama. Let's see. And there's a bonus question. What is your favorite book and why? My favorite book would be One Second After, and it's about an EMP, 
attacking the United States, and that is an electronic uh, magnetic pulse that attacks. And if you don't know what that is, that is when all your electricity goes out and you don't get it back. You don't get it back. Now, there was, and I think in the 1800s, there was a, star, uh, a sunburst that did that. But people didn't have electricity, so it wasn't as, you know, people didn't know what, what was really happening. They didn't have technology like we have today. So could you imagine waking up in the morning and having no lights? You couldn't cook on your stove. Everything would be gone. Everything. Oh, my God. It is such a good book. And for my prepper friends, hello, RJ Franklin. That's a book you would love. You would absolutely love that book. I, you could probably find it on Amazon or you might even find it on audio version in um, YouTube. But oh my goodness, is that ever frightening. But it's such a good read. So that's why I like it. Anyway, I hope you like this little bit of a chat and vlog that I did today. And I'd like to call out some of you if you'd like to answer the questions. Now, the questions will be in the description box below. So you don't have to go crazy going, what, what did she say? What did she say? If you would like to answer some of these questions on your channels, I'll reach out to some of you right now. Maria, MRTV, Jill, Jill's Comfort Zone, Adrian, Cooking and Review, Veggie Pals, Amy, Peace and Eats, Jules, Eating Good, Pam, Kicking It with Lynn, absolutely. And there are so many other people I could be calling out Rissa's Monk Bank, if you'd like to do this, absolutely, Promo SDK. If you would like to do this, the questions are in the description box below. Please hashtag Whole180. This was a lot of fun. I had a good time. Hopefully, this sciatica will go away because I can't stand it. And I know I will see you in the next couple of days when I see if I lost anything in month number two. Oh my, keep your fingers crossed and your toes. Be oh my goodness. Be kind to one another, the heart, that's all that matters. And I know I'll talk to you all soon, my friends. Bye-bye, everybody.